Well, hi there. It's Friday the 18th, and I just want to show you what's going on. Say hello, Kyra. Hi. Okay. Uh, I've kind of designed the body. I wanted people to be able to see what it's like. So you get an idea of what this beast is going to be. These here, the shields, are actually going to be the uh, screen vents. You can see the work that's going on here. This is the bottom piece. Things are a bit chunky looking right now, but that's the way it is. You get an idea how big this thing is. It's actually in three sections. Section number one is actually the rear. And I'll give you a full shot of that. Sorry about the quality of things and everything, but this is the way it's going. And there's still a lot to do and a lot of pieces that have not been put on. And you can see the size of this thing. It really is going to be momentous. <laughs> and, you know, things will probably change, but I always change things. But it's, it's a moving, ro uh, rotating deal that I do. And it's just whatever strikes my fancy. That's what it gets, and that's what it's going to be. But anyhow, I hope you get a kick out of seeing this, and now you can see how my mind works. <laughs> I'm a schizophrenic, I guess. <laughs> Looks the way things go. But anyway, this is it. This is the Beast of Turin. My salute, and not races also. This is our salute to the great racing car that in 1912, at Ostend, Belgium, did 132 miles an hour, and that's when they thought your face would blow off. This is unbelievable. So it, ours doesn't really look a hell of a lot like it, but it's my interpretation and my salute to my very favorite car in the whole bloody world, and I thank you for seeing it. Give me your thoughts, please, and do pass this on to everybody if you would. I'd really appreciate it. I want to get a lot of input on it.